If you could only have one guy, just one guy, that you put in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, I don't know why that would be, maybe because there's a, a small Hall of Fame and, and there's a fire inspector that says you can only have one guy that, that can go in that Hall of Fame. That guy, I mean, that guy's going to be Brett Favre. Oh, and I think in a dictionary, when you have the word competitor, you ought to just put his picture there. He could do things on the field that nobody else could do. I, I mean, he could do things most people couldn't even imagine doing. But as amazing as Brett Favre the player was, let me tell you about Brett Favre the man. Back in 2004, we are talking to Brett Favre at Lambeau Field, and we're, you know, just having a normal interview, and a squirrel came running across the field. And I, I guess it tripped and injured itself. I, mean, I, didn't, I, was, I, was, I wasn't really paying attention to the squirrel. But Brett Favre, in the middle of the interview, saw the squirrel trip. And Brett looks at the squirrel and says, Oh, no! That squirrel is limping. I mean, I didn't even know a squirrel could limp. So Brett Favre runs over and helps that little guy. Brett Favre made that squirrel a little cast. And then he made him little squirrel crutches. <laughs> I mean, I mean who, who makes a, a squirrel crutches? I'll tell you who does it. Brett Favre does it. And most people would have sent that squirrel on its way. But Brett Favre was worried that squirrel wouldn't get away. Maybe he's being chased by a predator or a bigger squirrel that wanted whatever that squirrel had gathered. So Brett Favre taught that squirrel karate. And I said to Brett, I didn't know you knew karate. And that's when Brett Favre said to me, I didn't know karate. I taught it to myself when I saw that squirrel trip. That tells you something right there. Any man who could learn karate that fast, then teach it to a squirrel he just met? I don't know anybody else like that. And I never will. When I was inducted into the Hall of Fame, I talked about when they turned the lights out at night. And then it gets down, there's just one person. And that person turns out the light, locks the door. I believe that the bust talk to each other. And I can't wait for that conversation. I really can't. But now that Brett Favre's bust will be in the Hall of Fame, sitting alongside of my bust, there might be certain days where my bust only talks to Brett Favre's bust. And I'm not saying that the other busts aren't great. You I mean, you have to understand, there's a lot of great busts, but there's only one Brett Favre bust, and it's just... Well, you know, Brett Favre. This is big for us, kid. We did it. You can cut. We're good.